All right, so we, uh, we've already set this up. We've already done our practice. Now we're going to use this. Uh, we're going to use this to calculate some of the expenses and sales and revenue that we use during the lemonade stand game. So we're going to need this sheet, and you're also going to need the lemonade stand game. So you're going to go to lemonade stand, click on the link here. It opens it up for you. All right, we're going to scroll down, hit OK. It's seven days. And then we're going to wait right here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use this lemonade stand. Where did it go? We're going to use this lemonade stand. Here we are. To keep track of our expenses. So how much we spend every day on each item. Our total expenses. Um, your end of the day total. Your sales. Your revenue. And then our total revenue. We're actually going to do an average revenue as well. What our average revenue is also. Let's change this. Boom. There we go. All right. So here's the way it works. So we're going to come in here. We're going to go back to the lemonade stand. So we have to buy paper cups to do the game. So we're going to click on buy more cups. You choose how much you want to buy. For the example, I'm just going to choose 25 cups for 92 cents. Buy it. So we bought cups for 92 cents. We're going to come over here. We're going to hit 0.92. If yours doesn't change to the dollar amount automatically, you're going to go up here to format, number, currency, so that it has the dollar amount there. And we're going to buy lemons, so you're going to come up here, okay, buy more lemons. I'm going to buy this one here in the middle, so we're going to, I'm going to spend 228 on lemons. Come back, 2.28, make sure it's in currency. You're going to go buy sugar, let's do it real quick. I'm going to just kind of cruise through this a little bit here. $1.53, buy it, okay. Boom, there it is. Ice. Uh, 95 cents. Buy it. Okay. So these are all my expenses for the first day. Okay, individually. So in this box right here in this cell, B10, I'm going to create a formula that calculates the total expenses. So I'm just going to go up here and click on this function, this backwards E, click sum. It's asking me which ones do you want me to add. I'm going to highlight the ones above. Hit enter. There it is. $5.68. That's how much I spent the first day. Okay. Now I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to go play the game. I'm going to click OK. You decide what you want this to be. How much do you want to charge? How many lemons? So on and so forth. Hit OK. Now I'm going to fast forward it. Let's see how we do the first day. See if I make any money. It's pretty rainy. Normally rainy, cold days are not the best. So it's not looking too hot so far. And here we are. Boom. Not very good. So keep this screen up because we're going to need it. Um, so you're going to go 1657. That's how much money we had at the end of day one. Come back here. End of day one. $16. 57 cents. Okay. Now we're going to figure out what our sales are. Okay. So we're going to use a formula to do that. Okay. We're going to use a formula to do that. Um, so to do our sales, you're going to hit equals because that's how you do formulas. You're going to click on uh, B13 for the end of the day total. Okay. And you'll see it up here. It pops up and it's also here. You're going to hit a minus sign. Now we're going to enter some parentheses. Okay, so you do a parentheses here. You go up here and you click on B4, which is our starting balance for the day. Hit minus your total expenses, B10, and close it. Now the parentheses tell the, uh, the program to calculate that before it does anything. You're going to hit enter. And this formula tells us that for the first day, 
our total sales, we, did, we sold $2.25 in the first day. All right? So but here, ultimately, here's the most important thing. You have your expenses, you have your sales, and really revenue is the thing that makes the most difference. Revenue tells us if we made any money that day. So we're going to do another formula here. We're going to go equals. Okay? You're going to click on sales. Now you take sales and you subtract your total expenses for the first day. And you hit enter and it tells you the first day we spent more money than we made. So we have a negative amount. We lost $3.43. Okay? So you're going to do that for the first day. You're going to use all your numbers. Now here's what you're going to do. We're going to come back up here to the top above day two and you want to enter your starting balance for the day. Well our starting balance is what we ended with the day before. So up here you're going to hit equals. You're going to click on end of the day total. Enter and it transfers it up to the top for us right there. Alright? So these are all the formulas. Now here's your job. Here's what you have to do. You have to go through day two and do exactly what we did day one. And when you get to the bottom, you're going to enter the formula here to calculate all of these up. Now remember how we did it over here. If you click back in these boxes, it'll show you up here what the formula was that we used to calculate up the total expenses. Obviously this is B6 because this is column B. And now we're in column C. So it'll change to, instead of B's, it'll be C's. So you're going to click, click here and you're going to add up the totals after you've entered them in. End of the day total. You're going to put that in and then you're going to calculate up your sales. Now just like before, here's my sales right here. Here's my formula I used. Use that to help you calculate this one. Okay? And then we have our total revenue. Okay, there's the one we used the day before. You're going to go here and you're going to use a formula Here's our formula, use it to help you. So you don't use the B's, you're in column C now, and you calculate it up. Back up here to your starting balance, your formula should be just like the one you see there. You're going to go through every day, and you're going to finish it. You're going to use formulas, you're going to calculate it up. We're going to see how we did, okay? Now I'm going to punch some numbers in here, and they're not going to be accurate, but I'm going to show you, because at the end, let's change this, I've got to change this to... Uh, currency. Okay. Because you need to know how to do the total revenue. So I'm just going to put some pretend numbers in here. Okay. These will not be what you do. You will already have your actual numbers in here. But when you have your real numbers in here, Okay, so you're going to go to total revenue, all right? I want to know what our total revenue was for the seven days. Oh. Let's pause this over here. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so we have our stuff here. We are going to... Uh, figure out our total revenue. So you're going to click in the green box here, go up here to your functions, click sum, and you are going to highlight them all, hit enter, and it tells you we had some negative days and some positive days, but overall $6.41 is how much money we made. Now how much was the average revenue, average per day? Okay, how much money did we make on average per day? We're going to click here in this box here, go up here, click average, okay, highlight the green boxes again, enter, our average was 92 cents per day. So we averaged making 92 cents each day, okay? So you're going to go through and you're going to create all the days individually, and then you're going to go back and recreate what we see here. Uh, uh, sorry, you're going to go back and use total revenue. And you're going to use your actual real numbers. Okay? When you've completed this and it's all done, you have everything done. You have this one here, and you also have your practice activity done here also. 
you are going to share this with me because it's for a grade. Now to do that, you're going to click on share. And you're going to enter my email address here and you're going to change this to can view. My email address can be found on the class website under home. There's my email address. Do not include the parentheses. Okay, you're going to go back here, type it in, hit done. It's going to send it to me. I'm going to give you a grade that you completed it. If you don't understand or you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, good luck. And uh, the next thing you'll be doing, you will be moving on to doing your actual own activity down here underneath.